When preparing to present the GT Labs feature on VW's Golf GTR, I was tempted to not do an intro at all. What can be said about one of the best hot hatches ever made? Not much, except this is a new 2017 updated version, so it should be better than the last. If the latest GTI is any better than its predecessor, you certainly can't tell by looking at it. Don't fix it if it ain't broken, you might argue, but as facelifts go, the Golf 7.5 is subtle to the extreme. You won't find us quibbling about the underbonnet upgrades, however. The standard model now churns out as much power as the previous GTI performance version, and this is transferred to the road via VW's proven DSG transmission, possibly the only acceptable automatic fitted to a hot hatch. VW really outdid themselves when they designed this hatch. I mean, it looks good. It sounds even better. And I think it's a perfect little track car. Not only is it really comfortable to drive, it's really, really quick too. You can't see my speedometer, but down that back straight, we just reached 170 k's an hour. The brakes work really well, and it's the perfect performance little car. And it handles really well. It sits really nicely to the ground. Overall, I'm really impressed with this car around the track. Not surprisingly, the GTI showed itself to be miles quicker than every other hatchback we've tested on GT laps to date. That said, we haven't sampled any proper hot hatches yet, so its record might not stand for very long. For now though, the mighty Golf reigns supreme. I've always been a huge VW fan, and this hot hatch certainly confirms why it's loved by so many others. <laughs> 